it's great to be here because the first time I ever came was 10 years ago and that's when I started this. Uh, the main idea is water house and it comes because architecture is based on the misconception that strong is stable, it's not. And I'm working on a building which can uh, immediately, you have any effect from environment, it gives a response. So the uh, total is zero. So similar to biology when you have like uh, uh, plants or a lot of occurrences when uh, you get a reaction, we are trying nowadays to do the same with architecture. What we are doing is doing with computers. So only the computer makes it smart. So what I'm trying is to eliminate that and make a building that does that. Similar to Earth, when uh, you have the moon, when there is no water, but in our Earth we have distribution. And just like in case of Earth, when uh, water distributes all the energy, in case of one year, to make a perfect balance, and you have the same thing one year after, it, uh, it happens in a building as a matter of seconds. So I started with uh, doing research in Todai in uh, Namba Lab, and I built some experiments, and you can see the results there. Uh, the, you have uh, energy exposure in one side, and the other side gives responses immediately, without computer, without control, just by itself, like living things do. This is something new. And this is like how building looks when you build it. You have walls, you have floors, you have roofs, and they are connected, so all the water is connected, just like in case of Earth. And uh, the water is uh, managing everything by itself. That's the main idea. And uh, in this case, you have a structure which really acts like a living being. This is how it looks when you build a building from it. You have different panels, and uh, instead of like insulating the buildings, like you would have a spaceship or something, uh, you have a structure which absorbs energy and uh, it uses for later. So actually you can have a sustainable house without any insulation at all. It's a very Japanese way of sustainability. So you have a lot of things which are very good in it. The one of the most funniest is that water enters in the last stage of construction. So you build it very light and when it's done it's very heavy. So it's very comfortable, very nice environment. And water takes care of all of, it, all of your problems which normally we do with technology. So it's very high tech but it's very low tech. This is the building the first we built. It was in Hungary. These are the panels you can see. This is the factory. This is how it actually looks when you fill it up. Actually, photos doesn't do justice because the clients always want it to look normal. So, but, so you have to, I really encourage you to see the videos. We have a Facebook site, a Facebook page, but you can see it all. And this is like, it's done by, for me, by one of my good friend Aris, he's here. He's sitting over there. And you can see that one of the things we do, mankind does, that we are trying to be sustainable, but actually, you can see that the materials we use today, they are much, much more energy consuming than we used to before. So we are just, uh, we have an illusion that we're becoming sustainable, but actually we are getting worse and worse because all we care is the bill uh, we pay in the end to maintain. This is actually, that small, very small blue thing is actually all water panel. The technology I developed based on this concept and we're using for uh, projects today uh, to build buildings. So this is our project we do at Todai at uh, this moment. It's led by Kengo Kuma Lab in Todai, and uh, we have a Sato Sensei, Magori Sensei, Yashiri Sensei of Structure and Engineering, and we have supports from Mitsubishi Plastics and Asai Glass. We are working a small tea house, of course, because in Kuma Lab that's what we do often. And uh, this is Hongo Campus, this is a rendering. So the main idea is that we are trying to make this building for a long time, for two years, because we would like to give it as a present. Uh, it will be an experiment for research to make a zero energy house just based on abilities of water. There are going to be no insulation. A uh, sustainable house today is like one meter thick. Our wall is this five centimeter thick and it's water. We're going to build it into a todai. Uh, for exhibition and we give it as a present for Fukushima because many people live there like in temporary housings especially elderly refugees and uh, they have nothing there uh, for service so uh, a tea house for them can be a real contribution for a better life and we're gonna monitor it for two years with the engineering labs this is how actually more or less looks the design is very very conservative just uh, four and a half tatamis and uh, you have opaque panels and uh, transparent panels made by aluminium, recycled aluminium and glass uh, to make it like a very easy construction and sustainable and transportable, of course. 
This is how it works. Uh, basically, the energy consumption is, uh, is a lot, but all the energy comes from the sun. Uh, in Japan, you have a sunny day every week, even in winter. So what we do, the building absorbs the heat, so inside doesn't get warm ever. It stores in the foundation, and later, when it gets cold, it just gives it back. And water manages everything for it. This is how actually it works. Uh, you, have, you have a pump to, to control and to, to check to make thing, everything sure, but normally it's completely automatic. And uh, the goal is, which is important for our lab and Kumasan, is that we, we have to get rid of Tokyo. We have to make free of the grid. And uh, we have to build new kind of buildings for that. This is the building main idea. Everybody talks about recycling and industry, but buildings like this, they are like, uh, our building is separated. It has a dual loop. We have a water, which is only land for the sake of the building and comes back to nature. And we have industrial, which is always recycled, regardless if it's aluminum or glass. And our goal with this project, when it goes to uh, Fukushima, is to reconnect people because they live, elderly people, they move there, and their younger members of the family move to the cities like Tokyo. And with such project, uh, building next to their housings, we hope to give them a contribution to reconnect uh, for their life, while they have to stay there for looking for a better future. These are the people, I'm going to be very fast, it's of course Kuma-sensei and Nakamura-san leading, uh, designing, there is Oscar uh, over there, uh, joining the project and Ares. And uh, there is uh, Yashiro Sensei, Magori Sensei, Morishita, uh, including for engineering and structure. And uh, we have Mitsubishi Plastic and Asai supporting us. And we are hoping for more supports later. Uh, thank you very much. And please uh, check our website, allwater.au, and, and our Facebook page for videos. It's really worth to look at in All Water LTD. And uh, please feel free to ask me if you have any questions, if you would like to know more. I'm happy to answer all of your questions. Nihongo mo ii. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you all.